Flash cutting through bone. Run. Get away. Scalpel piercing her breast, dragging through the, her flesh down to her groin, and flaying her open like some sick sort of pinata. Move. Just get away. Get away. Get away. Get away. She was hyper, hyperventilating now. No. No longer seeing the long time friend, but a horrific, sadistic but butcher. Do something! And then she saw it. The shining sharp project protector. She's sitting there on the tail next to her. The voice within her mind whispered to her like a seductive lover, sounding so wrong but so right at the same time. Kill her. Dash hesitated, part of her wanted to scream, another to run, but yet another considered the request. Kill her, kill her, before she kills you. Her mind was a maelstrom of conflicting thoughts, the Pegasus feeling sick to her stomach, weak in the knees, and the beat of her own heart pounding within her head. Take the knife. She start, stared at it, hoof slowly stretching out, trembling as the part of her still warred. Still try to reason. Take it. Take. The knife. <sighs> Tears streamed down her face as her hoof hovered the handle of the tool she turned weapon as she, if she afraid stare, strands of her insanity knew what was happening. Knew that it was fighting battle it was going to lose. It was going to lose. Take it! She snatched it up holding in front of her at Pinkie Pie with shaky hooves her ears Spray, splayed back against her head, hiccuping between sobs. Just leave me alone, please, Pinkie Pie. Just <gasps> leave me alone. Pinkie Pie looked at the knife being wielded by her friend for a moment before giggling and bouncing over towards Dash, whose heart sank the filly rapidly approached. Oh, Dash, you silly filly. You got me with that one. Never, never wanted to turn down an opportunity to prank, huh? She didn't think, her body acting on its own. It gasped, Pinkie Pie looking thunderstruck as Dash heaved. Frozen in mid-strike, the silvery blade of knife dripping with red ink or itcher. Pinkie Pie was brought a hoof up to her cheek, jabbing the white wide cut, looking at her own blood-stained hoof. Da Dash, what? I told you <laughs> to stay away. Why couldn't you just listen? Why couldn't you just stay away? I mean, <laughs> kill her. No, she's my friend. I, ca I ca can't. I, I kill her, and the hurting will stop. P please, P Pinky, run. Just run. Oh, God, please don't make me do this. Kill her. 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 What happened next was a blur. The memories fuzzy in Dash's mind as Pinkie Pie tried to make sense of the sudden attack upon her person. Upon her person, Dash let out a chilling mix between a wail and a scream, catching the earth pony off guard as the blade darted forward, slashing through her neck, severing vein and artery. As the gout of crimson issued foul from the wound, shock and surprise registered on Pinkie Pie's face as she gurgled. Blood hermorrhaging hermore from that wound, sustaining her pink fur with the red hue of her life essence. Again and again, that silver blade struck out. Dash's speed not restricted to her flight as she plunged that blade into the filly before a rapid pace. Sobbing hyster hysterically as she carved the squirming and flailing filly up through breast, through bone. Pinkie Pie struggled, slowly fade as her blow was split onto the floor of the Candy Corner's kitchen. Pooling around her, splattering the pegasus atop her was a hot red fluid. Just leave me alone, she screamed out, fear turning to rage. You couldn't just leave me. You couldn't just go away. Why couldn't you? Could you? I mean, I don't know. I'm failing. You had to keep coming back. Pinky's struggles grew weaker and weaker. Her eyes with terror stream tears streamed down her face. Visage frozen in a mix of fear and ang anguish. 
What did she do? What was it? The icing? Did her face visage? But I just failed. She used salt instead of sugar. Why? As those slowly, oh, one second. As those slowly gaze, glazing eyes stare up at Rainbow Dash, the strikes of the blade grew slower and slower. The Pegasus finally plunging the implement deep into Pinkie Pie's chest. Pinkie's chest, spearing through the filly's heart, ending her party once and for all. Dash heaved for a breath, limbs shaking as she looked down upon her handiwork. Blood stained her fur and feathers, painting her a deep crimson, wearing the life force of her for former friend like some macabre outfit. She sobbed, laying out a wail of anguish as she realized the gravity of what she had just done. Arms wrapped around the butchered filly, Dash holding the still warm corpse of her friend. No, 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 I didn't know Celestia. What, no, what have I done? What did I do? Dash's body shook as her chest he heaved with each gut-wrenching cry of the anguish. Suddenly letting go of Pinkie Pie's body and laying out an ear-peaching screech of terror as she looked at her own hooves. Blood and viscera coated them, dripping down through the fur. The scene straight from a horror movie laid before her eyes. She skittered backwards, sleeping in the pool of blood of her own creation, slamming Jeek first into the pile of gore, which finally gaining purchase and dragging herself over the again over against the farthest wall from Pinkie Pie's still form, her stomach mutiny mutiny on her as she empty empty emptied What the hell? Wow, I can't believe I failed on the word emptied. That is just a fail. Its contents upon the floor next to her mind raced through thoughts running a mile a minute as she hiccuped. Wide, terror-filled eyes staring at the scene made her own hoof murder. She had committed murder on uh, one of her own friends. It was unheard of. Nobody had murdered another in hundreds of, e hundreds of years. Voices with her mind crawled and whispered to her. The world spinning around her as time seemed to stand still for her. The last vestiges of her sanity being plucked apart one by one until it finally thread finally snapped. Hooves grasped at her head, matting her rainbow colored mane down with blood and ichor. The Pegasus rocking back and forth in the blood ki blooded kitchen as a crazed grin spread across her muzzle. Humming disjointed to herself. Giggle at the cat. Giggle at the Cassie. <laughs> Snortle at the spooky. <laughs> Dash threw her head back, curling legs against her chest and forelimbs wrapped around them. Psychotic laughter issuing forth from the speedster Pegasus as her world shattered around her. Psych and spirit broken and splintered. And that is the end of Rocket to Insanity. That a fucked up ending? Well, fuck you too. No, but really, that is pretty fucked up. Probably not as bad as Cupcakes, though, but which I'm not going to read, but that is pretty... that. That did go into good detail, but it was really it was, that was really gory, obviously because you know it even says in the warning, and just to think that they make a little pony show fucking with death and stuff, it's kind of bullcrap. It it just kind of makes me sad that they do that and. um... Yeah, it's kind of stupid, but anyway, uh, rating on 1 to 10, I'd give that maybe a 8. It's a pretty good story. It could have been longer, if I were to say. Um, all in it, it didn't have like a very good, like to me, the ending could have been better. It could have actually gone more... Like, it could have gone further than just killing Pinky, but, um, along with that, there's sequels to it made by somebody else. I'm pretty sure it's somebody else. Um, there's Rocket to Insanity. There's three 
um, by Don't Wake the Neighbor. Um, there's Rocket to Insanity. This is the first one he made. Fall of the Apple Family in this one. These are all going as uh, sequels. Um, Fall of the Apple Family, um, Rocket to Insanity, Dawn of the Dying Pegasus, and Rocket to Insanity, Twilight's Passage. Now, the Twilight's Passage one, um, that one is on hiatus, so I won't be reading that one at all. One thing I would like to put on a side note is, um, I am making, like, a, my, I had do have my own story on fimfiction.net, and this was, um, on Google Documents, so that was not a, um, it was not on FIM Fiction, but the, uh, sequels are. So I expect the, for me to read the sequels, but, um, mainly that was a pretty effed up story. Uh, but not as eff probably not as effed up as Cupcakes, and if anybody wants me to read that, then screw you, I'm not doing that. I know it's kind of stupid saying I don't want to read Cupcakes, but I'm already reading this, and it's pretty gruesome, but... I think Cupcakes would probably be worse than that, and if it isn't, then... Well, damn. I'm reading something worse than Cupcakes. Which would be... That, which would be surprising, after all. Since I don't go, I don't go for these like all these um gruesome bloody stories because that's not really what My Little Bunny's all about. And um, it's supposed to be about friendship and stuff. But anyway, next um I I will read Rocket to Insanity, Fall of the Apple Family. It has one two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It has eleven chapters in it. Rocket and Sandy f Fall of the Apple Family. It has an eleven chapters in it. Um, Rocket Two and Sandy Dawn of the Dying Pegasus has sixteen, and Twilight's Passage, the one that's on highest, is uh, only has four chapters. And uh, hopefully they can get the Twilight's Passage passage done, because <coughs> um, I really want to read that. Which would be really cool. <sighs> so, um, it's pretty insane how they made this story. But, um, that's all I have. That's all that I'm reading for today. And, um, pretty effed up story. And, um, Next, I'll be reading Rocket to. It's either um, Rocket to Insanity, or I will read something different. Like um, there is a short story I have. I think I deleted it off of my thing. Uh, no, I didn't. Um, it, it's not as good, but I probably won't read that. Actually, I want to just get. Like either two, two. I want to get two uh, um, selections that I want to read. After, either read the um, Dot of the Die Pegasus, or not Dot of the Die Pegasus. Um, Fall of the Apple Family. Either that one, or I'm going to read. Where is it? Or I'll just read My Little Dashy. How? Let's say that. Probably gonna read the Fall of the Apple Family because my little dash is gonna. It's a really long story, and I don't wanna. Don't wanna spend too much time on that, but at least for now. But I will. At one point, so I'll see you guys there. This is Michael Zero One here back with another. I just did my intro. <laughs> so this is Minecraft Zero One, and I hope you all have a great day. I hope you enjoyed that story that majorly effed up story so I'll see you guys there I guess you're one here and I'm peacing out bye